right, guys. So you're going to do this first one on your sheet where it says warm up one. And this is going to help you for table one on the warm up one. So on that spot, I'm going to give you a problem. Looks very similar to what you're going to see in a second. This is a right angle. I know it doesn't look perfect. Go ahead and draw that on there. That's a right angle. This is 3x. And this is going to be 2x plus 10. Okay. So go ahead and write that down. And now let's talk about what we're going to do here. When I look at this problem, I notice that I need to put all these angles, this one, this one, this one. I need to add them all up. And what, are the, what does it all equal? What does it all equal? 180 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my equation. And there's parts on your paper where it says write the equation out. All right, so you're going to have to do that. So up here, I'm going to put 3x plus 90 plus 2x plus 10 equals 180, okay? Now, as you do that, you're going to go ahead and combine like terms. You're going to get 5x here. You're going to combine these terms. You're going to get 100. And it all equals 180. And then go ahead and move your constant to the right by subtracting doing the opposite operation. All our equation skills from last semester. That's why I love these problems because it brings back old equation skills that you must have. 5x equals 80. And then divide 5 into 80. You're going to get, what's that going to be, 16? So x equals 16. All right. Take your time on these today. You're going to be working with your teams, um, doing the best you can. You can talk to your teams, but don't keep asking the teacher for answers. Ask your team on how to do certain things. Okay. So that's the first warm up. Let's do the second one. Warm up two. So on your sheet where it says warm up number two, we're going to do one that looks very similar to what you're going to have to do on this sheet. And this one's going to be a little tricky. I want you to go ahead and draw this straight angle with a triangle on it. Okay. So your straight angle's here. Let me make this a little smaller if I can. And on this straight angle, I want to know what x is here. I want to know what y is here. And I want to know what z is. All right. I want to know what those are, but I'm also going to give you some information. I'm going to give you that this is 50 degrees. All right. And I'm going to tell you that this is 120 degrees. And believe it or not, that is all the information you need. I really want you to process this right now. If, you haven't, if you've been having trouble with this, understand what I'm doing right now. If I go all the way from here to here, that's 180 degrees, right? All right. Well, what is it from here to here? I just told you it's 50. So what's the missing piece of the puzzle to get to 180? What plus 50 equals 180? And you should be able to do it even in your head. Doesn't it make sense for it to be 130 degrees? Visualize what's happening. So x equals 130, okay? Now, the same concept. I'm going to delete this right now so you can see it. Again, this is x is 130. I'll put that down here. Make sure you have that written down. Now, let's do the same kind of visual again. If I go from here to here, it's 180. But if I go from here to, well, actually here, I'm going to bust up that eraser. And look what I'm going to do. Oh, it erases the whole thing. Never mind. If I go from here to here, it's 120. What would be the rest of the puzzle? What's the rest of this puzzle to get to 180? And you can do that in your head. What plus 120 gets to 180? And it'll be 60 degrees. Okay. So why is 60? Now that you know all that, let's see some of this. Now that you know this is 60 degrees, okay. This is 50, this is 60, it shouldn't be difficult to find this out because it all equals 180 as well. 180 is a magical number, right? So 60 plus 50 is 110 plus Z equals 180. You could probably do that in your head. Z is going to be 70 degrees. Okay. Don't make it more complicating than it is. It's really not that difficult. You're just trying to be a detective and figure out Okay, since I have this piece of information, I can figure out this piece, okay? Now, table three is the more challenging table. All these questions are going to be in some way or form on your quiz tomorrow, but this is 
I'm not going to put a bunch of these from table three. There's only three questions at table three, and I want to make sure you just take your time on them because they do look challenging, but really they're not as bad as you think. This is what one of them looks like. We've tried to cover this in a little bit of detail about, gosh, I'll talk about it in a second. If this is 30 degrees, okay, and I want to figure out what X is, I want to figure out what Y is, and I want to figure out what Z is. And then I'm going to give you one other piece of information. This is 70 degrees. Okay. Now looking at that, there's one rule that we kind of try to cover a little bit in some classes, maybe not as much in others, but this idea, whenever you see an X like this, you see the X, this angle and this angle are the same. And in the same respect, this angle and this angle are also the same. Okay. So let me go on. They're called vertical angles. So when you see this angle here is 30, guess what? This angle here is also 30 because of the vertical angle rule. So y is 30 degrees. Again, any other side of the x is going to be the same. So that's 30 degrees. All right, well, that's a good piece of the puzzle. Let me delete that part. I don't like how much of it's in the way. So this is going to be 30 degrees. If you know this is 70 and this is 30, this shouldn't be difficult to figure out. 70 plus 30 is 100, right? So what is going to get to 180? What plus 100 equals 180? All right, so Z equals 80, and that wasn't difficult. Don't make this more challenging than it is. Now, do you see my straight 180 degrees here? Do you see my windshield wiper? Do you see what's happening? If I already know that this piece of the puzzle right here is 30, what's the rest of the puzzle going to be to get to 180? And you can do that in your head even, but if you need a calculator, that's fine. You can use the calculator the whole day today. But 150 plus 30... Doesn't that give me the 180 degrees, all right? So you're just trying to solve the riddle. You're trying to be a detective, okay? You're going to be doing this team test together at your tables, and you're going to rotate, and then Mr. Mundo or myself are going to collect it. We're going to staple it, and we're going to grade one of them. And whatever grade that one is, you're all going to get that grade. So you must work together to solve this team test. All right, guys, best of luck.